one. This is a hot one. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. Hot one. The war of Spider-Man continues. Shall Spider-Man live through this battle as we know him to be? Cause you know, this is a hot one. Hear all about it. Hear all about it. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We are comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. Marvel Perfect Spider-Man Replacement. This is coming from Screen Rant. That's Screen Rant. ScreenRant.com. An article by Thomas Bacon. This was on August the 30th. Perfect replacement, huh? Perfect replacement for Spider-Man. Okay, let's give it a chance and see what they got to say. Marvel Studios has already announced the perfect Spider-Man replacement, Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel. Spider-Man has been described as Marvel's Mickey Mouse, their most recognizable and distinctive superhero brand. That's why Marvel Studios went to such effort to reach an unprecedented deal that brought the wall crawler into the MCU. And it's why the recent collapse of the Marvel Sony deal is such a blow to their shared cinematic universe. When Stan Lee and Steve Ditko created Spider-Man, they envisioned him as the ultimate everyman hero. In a superhero universe filled with hyper-intelligent geniuses, strange visitors from other worlds, and military trained super soldiers and scientists with break breathtaking anger management issues Indeed, especially when you think about the Hulk. Spider-Man is essentially an ordinary person who's gained superpowers. According to Lee himself, the idea for Spider-Man came from a surge in teen demand for comic books, and he was envisioned as a character teens could identify with. The MCU has followed the same approach. That's why Tom Holland's Spider-Man grew up in the world of Avengers and has been given such a close relationship with Tony Stark. Marvel understood that their modern teenage viewers had grown up on a diet of MCU movies and they see 2008's Iron Man as the beginning of their own superhero journey. Their Spider-Man reflects this. The loss of Spider-Man means that the MCU no longer has an everyman hero who represents the teen audience. Fortunately, Marvel recently announced that they have a replacement, Kamala Khan who is getting her own Miss Marvel series on Disney Plus. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has been teasing Kamala's MCU debut for over a year now, debut, stressing that the MCU's Miss Marvel would be comic book accurate. Those plans are finally coming into fruition with Kamala set for Disney Plus. Miss Marvel will then migrate to movies where she could actually fill the Spider-Man shaped hole in the MCU. We'll have to see about that, won't we? <laughs> it's easy to forget that Miss Marvel was designed after the pattern of Spider-Man. Her creators, Marvel editors Sana Amant and Steven Wacker, artists Adrian Alfona and Jamie McKelvey, and writer G. William Wilson, Willow Wilson, envisioned her as another everyman hero designed to represent the complexity of a modern multicultural society where Peter Parker was originally a Jewish kid. They created Kamala Khan as a young Muslim and the majority of her stories subtly explore themes of social justice in the context of fundamental faith. G. Willow Wilson followed the Spider-Man pattern when she wrote the popular Miss Marvel comic book. Stan Lee and Steve Ditko carefully built a strong sense of place around Peter Parker so that readers felt they got to know New York itself by reading The Wallcrawlers of Avengers. 
In the same way, Wilson ensured that her Miss Marvel run gave Kamala a sense of what she called particularly, or particularity, excuse me, truly making her feel as though she existed in a real place. Wilson showed the same dedication to Kamala's supporting cast, working hard to flesh out flesh them out so Kamala felt as though she was interacting with real people. It's hard to reproduce this effect on the big screen, which may well be why Marvel Studios has chosen to introduce their version of Miss Marvel on Disney Plus. They get to take their time building her world and strengthening her supporting cast before moving her into the movies, like the MCU's Peter Parker. Kamala Khan is even a superhero fan, although in Kamala's case her idol is Captain Marvel, not Tony Stark. As popular as Kamala Khan's Miss Marvel may be, all this isn't to say that she's already become the equal of Spider-Man in terms of cultural impact, brand recognition, or even merchandise value. She's a remarkable success to be sure, especially for a character who was only introduced in the comics back in 2013, but she's nowhere near that big. She sure isn't, though she is doing well. What it does mean, though, is that she can fill the narrative and thematic gap left in the MCU by Spider-Man's departure. The loss of an every hero, an every man hero, who occupies a very specific particular part of the world and has a strong supporting cast. Marvel has made a wise decision, focusing in on her at just the right time. United Comics Universe. This is Joan and Show here, your host today. Thanks for coming out, UCU family members. We appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button if you haven't already done that. And we appreciate you. Well, how do you feel about this article? Do you feel that Kamala Khan can be what we need to actually replace Spider-Man? Tom Holland, Spider-Man at that. What do you think? Please let us know down below. Well, my opinion is, I would say, I don't know, maybe because I've known Spider-Man for so long, I, I really wouldn't even say anything like that. I mean, I understand what they're trying to do, but I wouldn't even say that. I just, I just couldn't do it because Spider-Man is just such an important and emotional character to many of us. It's, it, it doesn't make any sense to even compare him really to anyone. Really, Spider-Man is, is his own thing. But I see what they're trying to, trying to do, and I hope it turns out well. Um, How do you feel about them starting off in the television and then flowing into the movie? From what I hear, each episode is pretty much like um an hour movie of a maybe like... um Depending on how many episodes it's going to be, it's like one movie just broken down into episodes. I think that's how they're doing on Disney+. Plus. Sounds like it's going to be really, really good, have a really nice budget, and be just as good as watching, you know, the movies, except for it's not on the big screen. And that sounds promising to me, because they'll allow us to get to know her, to get used to her, and then put her in a situation where it counts even more in, on the big screen. So long as they have the right actress who's uh, willing to do what needs to be done, um not get too funny on the finance as far as you know crossing over television movies back and forth if you can get a reasonable actress I'm, I'm sure they should be able to go from TV to movie to TV again as far as I'm concerned as long as you have someone who's you know willing to actually become part of the Marvel family in a way that you know they're, they're, they're willing to do what it takes for the fans you know to make us happy to have us to make amazing things to keep us you know interested to keep our superhero era you could say continuing on for hopefully another couple of decades in my opinion you know but that's what I think I'm excited about seeing Kamala Khan just because her character is interesting to me and I'm into that type of uh, things. I, I love the street heroes. I really do. Like Daredevil, so forth and so on. I really do love the street heroes. I like it when they, you know, get down and urban. So, yeah. The perfect replacement for Spider-Man. I think not. But far as seeing Kamala Khan, 
on television and then flowing into a movie <laughs> you can just take my money because I'm there for that Disney Plus is going to be something amazing I can't wait to see what they do UCU United Comics Universe thank you for coming out please hit that subscribe button notifications and like up if you liked anything in this video this is Jonan Show and I'll catch you again and until then remember we are you know it comics United Comic Universe store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies when you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your UCU mug drink it up that's what I do <laughs> oh wait when your feet is feeling a little cold at night, put on your United Common Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Common Universe socks can give you. Are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? Well, the links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear where you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Common Universe. Remember, we are comics. So, you like the video? Duh! That is why they're here, because they like the video. <laughs> awesome! So, you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also, leave a comment down below. Also, click one, or two, or three, or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here. So, you'll see them <laughs> to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics.